Welcome aboard this 1979 Hatteras LRC Long Range Cruiser. I'm looking at one of a pair of Detroit Diesel 4-53 two-stroke diesel engines at 112 horsepower each. This is a twin engine boat with two Detroit Diesels for propulsion engines. And I want to give you a tour of some things that are down here. Leaning outboard on the port side, you can see we've got one, two, three air conditioning compressors. And there's a fourth one upstairs in the saloon that you can't see. The blue tank to the right is a bladder tank or a surge tank for your potable drinking water system. And then looking back to the left, you see one, two, three, four big boxes. Those are the logic boxes for the actual air conditioning compressor systems. Looking further aft from that, you can see this big insulated exhaust pipe. The silver part is insulated with a uh, fiberglass type insulation with the silver cover. And you can see that black part with this black rubber hose takes raw water out of the cooling system of the engine and injects it into that elbow. And that decreases the hot exhaust gases to less than 200 degrees Fahrenheit and goes out that big large wrapped pipe which is a muffler out the back of the boat. Also looking over there you can see an alternating current distribution panel. To my left that big gray box is a sound shield for a 12 kilowatt generator. Here you can see a pair of Raycor 900s for our propulsion engines and that yellow lever is pointing to my left or the inboard Raycor fuel filter that's active. The right hand outboard fuel filter is on standby. In the middle you can see a vacuum gauge to show how much vacuum the engine is pulling through the filter to determine if it's clean or dirty. Looking down a little bit, you can see our strainer, our seawater strainer, the back end of our Borg Warner velvet drive transmission or reduction gear, and then you can see the stainless steel shafts going out the dripless shaft seal under the boat to the propeller. Coming back midships, you can see another Raycor filter there. That's for the generator, which is the port generator. And that's a door going to the lazarette. And coming over here, there's another Raycor, which is for the starboard generator. And looking a little more to my left, you can see a reverso system that will change the oil in both propulsion engines, transmissions, and generators. Coming back, the starboard generator is not in an enclosed sound shield. It's exposed, which is not a problem. That is a Northern Lights Lugger diesel electric generator. And I think that's eight kilowatts. And then coming back to port, you can see that we've got a bigger generator inside of the sound enclosure there to make it a little bit quieter. Continuing on aft, you can see we've got a lot more equipment. We've got spare oil back here. We've got funnels and apparatus to change oil, antifreeze. We've got more electrical equipment, more battery selector switches up here high on the starboard. And down there you can see an air conditioning water pump and a strainer and a big 8D battery in that black box. Coming back over here you can see that big wrapped muffler to muffle the exhaust sounds. And we're wrapping up. You can see there we've got two large fire extinguishers, the older traditional CO2 type, the silver wrapped exhaust pipe with the water injection. See that blue striped hose? That's the water injection. And then we can look on the back of the starboard Detroit diesel. Again, you can see the seawater strainer there, the blue striped hose for the cooling system, the valve cover, chrome valve cover, and way up there on the right hand side of the screen, that cream colored steel tank is the hydraulic reservoir for the NIAD stabilizers. Coming back a little bit, you can see here we've got the Glenn Denning synchronizer device right there to make both engines run at the exact same RPM while cruising. 
coming past the ladder, looking at the engine itself, this is the kill solenoid that you can use by pushing a button on the dashboard or by hand. You can manually kill the engine if the button does not work. And looking at this giant high amperage alternator, this is huge and this is wonderful to replenish the batteries in the inverter battery package. Wrapping up, you can see another Raycor filter there that's for the fuel polishing unit. And then in between these two fuel tanks, port and starboard saddle fuel tanks, there's a third fuel tank down there that you can barely see. Just above, you've got two handles which are hand pumps, manual emergency bilge pumps. And then to close out, we've got another fire extinguisher, the Detroit Diesel Marine Power Label. These engines have mechanical gauges here and the electrical gauges up on the flybridge and in the raised pilot house. If you want to learn more about Hatteras long-range cruisers, cruising in general, looping, just remember, ask Captain Crest.